Welcome to Body Rock. My name is Jenny and today I'm going to lead you through a 12 minute full body workout. This is going to be a upper body focus. We have four movements to get through. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds to transition between each exercise, three sets total, 12 minutes of fun. All you're going to need today is a long resistance band, your body, your A game, and if optional, you can always wear a vest as well. So without further ado, we're going to get started right away. Uh, I'm going to set a timer here. First movement, we got push up into 10 mountain climbers. So you're gonna stack the shoulder above the wrist, you're gonna start off in this kneeling position, tuck the tail, squeeze the butt, and you're gonna bring the chest down, coming up to a high plank position. You're gonna drive those knees forward for 10 mountain climbers. Bring one knee in at a time. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10 without hiking the butt up. And then now you can bring the knees all the way back down, chest come all the way up and down again, back to that push up. And then come back up for 10 climbers. And then if you're feeling good, you can add a little bit more speed. The knee back down for that push up, come up nice and strong. Squeeze your butt and chest down. Ear, shoulders, hip, you should come down and up at the same rate. And that's time. Second movement here, you're gonna grab that resistance band of yours. I'm using the Body Rock Pink thing for single arm row. So feet are above shoulder width apart. You're gonna grip the floor with your left foot, right foot back in this split stance position. You're gonna pull back, bring the elbow towards the waistline, reach and pull. You're gonna work that mid back one side at a time. Halfway through, I'm gonna get you to switch. So we're gonna, we're gonna work 25 seconds on each side. Good, pulling back, big squeeze, and then stabilize it with that forward leg. And we're gonna switch, grab the band, and you can always hold the band a little bit lower if you want a little bit more resistance, and pull big squeeze. You can hold a tight fist with the other hand to create full body tension. 10 more seconds here. Next up, we're gonna come onto your back for dead bug. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna come onto the floor here. I'm just gonna clip the vest off nice and quickly. Come into that reverse tabletop position, pressing that lower back on the floor. And we're gonna kick out opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in. So key here for the dead bug is to press that lower back on the floor and don't let, allow the lower back to arch. Inhale as you reach, and exhale all the way back up. And if you want to add a little bit more resistance, you can grab your long resistance band, pink thing, and pull the band apart and kick up one leg at a time, resisting that lower back from arching. Or you can just go back to the basic variation, kicking out opposite arm, opposite leg. Whichever one works for you. And if we're moving too fast, you can always pause the video and come back whenever you're ready. This is your workout. Got your face. All right, so next up, we got squat into curtsy lunge. I'm gonna put my vest back on. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna sit into that squat and stand, step to the side for curtsy lunge. Back to center, into that squat. You're gonna step over to the other side. So load this side glute, hips are nice and square, lower down, up. So just moving laterally side to side. You back me down just to have her and come up. Almost there. Feel the burn. We got those push-ups into mountain climbers coming up. All right, that's round one. We got two more to go. I'm gonna show you different variations for the push-up and mountain climber. You can always bring yourself up to an incline position, couch your chair, whatever you got at home that's sturdy, bring that chest down, coming all the way up. You're gonna drive those knees forward for 10. And then back down, control ear, shoulders, hip, come down and up at the same rate, and then drive those knees forward again. Keep 
keep going. Nice and strong. We got single arm row coming up. Resistance, holding a tight fist with the other hand, abs nice, nice and tight here, and pull back. And eventually, as you get stronger, you can always use weights instead for the single arm row. You got another three more seconds, two, and one. We're going to switch sides. Step on it, grab the band, and pull back. So really... Bring the elbow towards the waistline, working that mid back. Okay, strengthening your lats. 10 more seconds here. We're gonna come back onto your back for dead bug. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come onto your fl the floor here. I'm gonna take my vest off quickly. Pressing that lower back on the floor, hold a tight fist. And we're gonna kick out opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in together and reach back. And reach. And really draw that navel down, pressing the lower back on the floor. Nice and control. We're almost there. And again, if you feel like you can add a little bit more resistance, you can always use a resistance band or you can even use your weight at best and hold it, reach it back. Bring it in. Whichever variation works best for you. Dead bug is one of those basic primal movements you want to learn how to master. All right, now we're going to come back up to standing. Squat to curtsy lunge. All right, best comes back on, see how quick that was. All right, we're gonna sit down into that squat, step to side into a curtsy, load the hip, back to center, and back. So we're moving through the frontal line right now. A lot of time, most people just move sagittally forward and back. It's important for us to move side to side as well, to really work your side glutes and your inner thighs, your adductors, to really strengthen your glutes here. Stay with me. Let's finish round two nice and strong. You got another 10 more seconds. You can always take your time, slow it down if you need to. The curtsy lunge is too much. You can always give me a reverse lunge instead. All right, that's round two. One more to go. Let's get you back to the top. Push up into 10 round climbers. You can either do this on the floor or on the couch. Chest down for that push up. Coming to the high plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice here, shoulders, hip, come down and up at the same rate. And then I'm when I'm creating that push-up position, it's in this nice arrow shape. I'm not here, I'm here. Hip stays nice and square for that mountain climber. All the way up. Almost there. All right. Moving on to single arm row. Let's get you grab your resistance band. Step up, left foot forward. Hold the band with the right hand. Hips are square. We're going to pull back. Hold a tight fist and pull. Again, need more resistance. Hold the band a little bit lower. And then watch that shoulder. Don't let it shrug forward. Pull it back. Almost there. We got five more seconds on the side. In three, two, 
and one. All right, let's switch, step on it, grab the band, and pull back. Fifteen seconds, we're gonna come onto your back for dead bug. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get you come onto the floor. You're gonna take the vest off if you're wearing one. Come into that reverse tabletop position. Press the lower back on the floor. Kick out opposite arm, opposite leg. Bring it back in and reach. And reach. Keep going. Almost there. We got one more exercise after this. Curtsy lunge and goblet squat. Or squat, body weight squat. Let's get you. Come on up. I'm gonna put my vest back on. Three seconds here. Two and one. Here we go. We're gonna sit into that squat. Step to the side for that curtsy lunge. Hips stays nice and square. Back to center. Moving through that frontal line. This is why hockey players have great butts. It's because they're always constantly moving side to side when they're skating. Keeping that chest up and that squat, knees are driving it. Woo, feeling the burn. You got 10 seconds left. Okay, let's finish nice and strong. Third set, best set here. In three, two, and one. Great job. Thank you so much for joining me for a 12 minute workout. I hope you really enjoyed today's workout. And thank you again. By joining this for today's workout, you allow me to live my dream every single day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.